Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to another brand new video. And today we are going to be discussing a Formula One as we are about to hit the weekend of F1 racing action. So subscribe, like, comment and share as always so you guys can get informed because it's not only a great day it's a great week because of the f1 of course so we had our testing in uh, Barcelona and we had our testing in Bahrain so this weekend is gonna be a tasty weekend if you love Formula 1 so all that out the way it's time to give you guys my predictions for the upcoming F1 2022 season. Right, let's begin with the liveries. Now the liveries are going to be interesting to say the least. So yeah. Let's kick off with the livery chat. And I believe actually that the liveries are pretty out there this year. We have had a lot of good liveries. So here is the list Alpha Tauri is the worst livery, I reckon. Williams is alright without, uh, without the red. Haas F1 looks really nice with red on it. McLaren. Not too fussed on that. Mercedes, yeah, it does not look too great for Mercedes. Uh, Alpine, the pink and blue is the next one. Then Red Bull. Then obviously everyone's top three is Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin and the Scuderia Ferrari. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Now, my predictions for the Constructors. First place, Ferrari. Second is the Haas F1 team. Third, Red Bull Racing. Four, McLaren Mercedes. Five, Mercedes AMG. Six, Alpha Tori. Seven, Alpine, Aston Martin in eight. Williams in 9, Alpha Romeo in 10th. So, 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 we are going to be talking about my predictions now. So, uh, yeah. So, I reckon, I am reckon, I'm predicting big things for Haas this year, as you can clearly see. Um, so, yeah, Ferrari is everyone's money for being a constructing championship champion. Uh because they are the most strongest team out there in testing and they have got the most developed car out there look at mercedes they they just switch up their side pods and just hope basically they trying to hope that everything will be okay which is obviously not good for them but is the same with every team really so yeah the next on the uh, constructors list there you see obviously Alpha Romeo they may have the most delicious liveries but they could I'm predicting them to go last unfortunately for Alpha Romeo because yes they have got Bottas and Joe but Joe will basically drag the team down the table so yeah Red Bull I reckon they're gonna remain strong as ever obviously and uh, McLaren ahead of Mercedes I mean that is shocking for me but but, but, but I do believe that there are things gonna happen in the team throughout the season that would cause them to stay where stay fifth basically and have an off season but uh, yeah this is the first season, of course, where every team has brand new regulations to their name and to their cars. So maybe a season in the new regs 
maybe teams might not be at their best because obviously it is going to be tough just to get the best car out the box basically so yeah but overall that is pretty tasty that uh, that constructors obviously we got Aston Martin not doing too well there we got Alpine there we got Alvatore we got Mercedes as we said but uh, yeah big things for Haas as I predict them second in constructors title they did top the time sheets like a couple days ago at the testing so yeah I mean it would be interesting to see if my prediction goes off so yeah now now now, now we have got the drivers championship and we have got a lot to discuss in the drivers championship so 20th Esteban Ocon 19th Latifi Latifi unfortunately in the Williams are not gonna be he is a good driver Latifi but he ain't gonna be the best out there so I'm predicting him last but one but better than Ocon um, Albon is similar to Latifi he won't be there season it won't be their time yet with Williams because Albon has a season out so yeah next up is Lance Stroll Lance Stroll is going to be interested in not retiring but it is going to be interesting further down the line if Lance Stroll can pick up pace in that Aston Martin uh, Joe 16th I don't know too much about Joe but the Chinese F1 driver is a rookie this season so rookies don't fare too well in their first season in the sport next up is Yuki Sonoda now Alpha Tori I predict in 6th in the constructors and well Gasly and Sonoda ain't gonna have the best of seasons so I predicted both of them 14th and 15th Next up, Valtteri Bottas. Now, even though Alfa Romeo is last on Constructors, it's going to be a close season overall. So, Bottas, he, he's going to be stronger out the two teammates. So, who knows? Who knows? Sebastian Vettel, I got the next person up, which is interesting because Vettel's time could well be up for him as he wouldn't want to language in the bottom of the constructors and in mid table in the drivers so who knows Daniel Ricciardo is a shocking one and Lando Norris so I'm predicting both of them I'm predicting both of them to have an average season not the best but it's going to be close to the top um, it's going to be close to pecking order anyway so yeah, predicting uh, Lando Norris 10th, Ricardo 11th, Fernando Alonso in 9th. So Alonso is where he should be, really. I know everyone wants Alonso top of the table, but he has recently came to uh, the sport after a couple of years out of it. So who knows? Like I said, it might take a season for a team to adjust to the new regulations so that they can fully implement their ideas for the following season so 2022 this season could just be like a testing season for a team or two like maybe Alfa Romeo or maybe a Williams but uh, yeah it's going to be interesting to find out which team that will be come the end of the season so in the table we have got Perez next yep Perez is going to be struggling Perez but not as much as Lewis Hamilton who I predict 7th in the driver's title Sh solely because he and George Russell in 6th then both will have some sort of controversy 
in the uh, in the season, and it's going to be interesting to find out if Lewis will go for that eighth. I mean, I really hope not, but if uh, Russell will overtake him in terms of the leadership within the team and who's one and two so it's gonna be a big year for Lewis Hamilton and Russell I reckon and as I said Mercedes in fifth not gonna do too good are they so the next driver is Max Verstappen now no 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 Verstappen the world champion uh, is gonna be coming to this season optimistic at most because Red Bull overall have been doing well in the uh, in testing so it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be very interesting to find out what happens to uh, Verstappen this season because he is a ruthless he is a hard racing character in F1 and not many like that but I do so yeah I am a big fan of Verstappen but only fifth only fifth next up is Carlos Sainz so yeah I'm predicting big things for Ferrari and Haas F1 team so Carlos Sainz fourth Magnussen third Leclerc second and the one and only Mick Schumacher first position so I'm predicting Mick Schumacher to be the 2022 F1 world champion yes people might laugh people might scoff but all I'm gonna say is that they spent a whole 21 thinking about 22 and I'm sure this year they would not disappoint so I'm predicting massive things for Haas which I hope I pray that they are as fast as I'm predicting them so yeah Haas second in the constructors obviously Ferrari will be I reckon the stronger package overall but in terms of the drivers Mick Schumacher will take top spot yeah now no 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 my in-depth predictions okay so this year in 2022 I'm predicting most of retirements will be at the Monaco Grand Prix which is obviously a bit I mean it's not far-fetched because Monaco is a tight track so I reckon most retirements will be at the Monaco Grand Prix. Surprise result will be Williams winning at Silverstone. How amazing would that be for Williams and for the British fans, of course. Uh, the underachievers are Aston Martin, which is shocking but believable. In team controversy, Mercedes GP. So yeah, that's what I mean earlier about who will be top dog in the team and whether Lewis if Lewis fails in the season enough so then he might retire at the end of this season instead of next. So it's all got to be a lot, there's a lot to play for in terms of Mercedes. And the last one is overtake of the season at, at a race, basically. I'm predicting the Miami Grand Prix. Now, we could have a situation if all the regulations go as planned that. Obviously, that Miami is a tight, twisty track. So, I'm predicting that cars will go side by side th 
throughout a lap. How amazing would that be? It'd be incredible if that happened. So yeah, throughout the lap, I reckon cars will go side by side. It's gonna be interesting actually to see what is actually gonna happen at Miami. So yeah, I'm predicting all this just so I can laugh at myself at the end of the season. And so yeah. But that is it for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Sam Rain. This is my F1 predictions. I will, of course, be seeing you guys sometime in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Sam Rain. This is F1 predictions, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.